Hi kittens, welcome back to Book and Candle. Um, before we get started in this video, please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you can be a part of this family. Today we are making buttery garlic knots. Yum, I love that cheesy gooiness when you reach that center and just pull the cheese apart. For this recipe, we only have a few ingredients and you're going to need to start off with about half a stick of butter. Um, you might be thinking it's a lot, but the butter doesn't actually go in the recipe. It is the spread that we're going to put on top. And then you're going to need almost this whole package of cheese here. It's about eight ounces, but you're just going to cut them in slivers about the size of a um, string cheese. So if you have string cheese instead, you could use that as well. Then you're going to get the original crescent rolls. Um, it makes eight of them, so this recipe does make eight. And we're just going to take this butter and we're going to melt it down. Then we're going to add some seasonings to it to kind of give it that garlicky uh, seasoned flavor. But before we put everything together, we do need to preheat our oven to 350 degrees and let it get started while we put our pepper in. And we're going to put in some minced garlic. Um, you're going to need about a teaspoon. Um, I really like that garlicky flair flavor and then you're going to get garlic powder and you're going to do one teaspoon of that as well um, and you can either use thyme or parsley but I have parsley so I put in plenty of parsley to add a little bit of a hint of green flavor to it and you're just going to take a whisk or a fork and you're just kind of kind of mix it together just a little bit just to make sure everything is together once you've done that you're going to unpackage your crescent rolls and you're gonna just lay them out flat and get them prepped and ready to go for your cheese to be inserted inside. Um, some people would use string cheese, that's good too. You could use mozzarella, some people like Monterey Jack. And if you wanna kinda add it and make it a little bit more pizza-like, put a little uh, pizza sauce inside with some pepperonis and then add your cheese and roll it all up and then put your buttery garlic mixture over top and you've kinda got some like pizza rolls that are really good. Um, but I just cut the cheese in slivers. I just wanted cheesy garlic knots. And you put the cheese on the inside and you roll it up like you would any crescent roll. Then you want to seal the ends because if you don't seal the ends, the cheese is going to melt and it's going to spread out and get everywhere. And at the end of this video, you will see where some were not sealed as good. They're still good. They just spread out and then others were. Um, but yeah, that's all you're going to have to do, all eight of these. And you're just going to wrap it around really good. You can put as much cheese as you like. Um, if you want to kind of add some extra flavor, if any of you like spinach or any of that, you can get frozen spinach or regular spinach and put some feta cheese in there with some turkey pepperoni or um, mushrooms. And you can definitely fill these with anything you want. Just make sure you seal them up really good before you bake them. Uh, but yeah, these are the simplest things you can make. These are perfect to be able to put uh, with spaghetti dinners as an appetizer or just something that you want to just snack on throughout the day. It takes less than about 15 minutes to put together, so it doesn't take hardly any time at all. After you have made all eight of your crescent rolls, you're going to take a cookie sheet and put some foil and then you're going to spray it down with Pam spray or some cooking oil um, just so it doesn't stick. And you're just going to evenly put the paste, uh, space them out on the cookie sheet and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your spread and you're just going to rub it all over your knots. Um, the spread that I have made covered all eight and it had some extra around the base of it so that it was good and juicy. Make sure to get a lot of that minced garlic over top. So use a little of your uh, brush there to actually get the garlic all over it. After you have made sure that they are nicely coated and they are covered all over, um, some people would actually, if they didn't want to spread it this way, they would just take each one and kind of roll them around in the butter stuff to get them all over, but I just find that this is simpler. And then you're going to stick it in your preheated oven, and you're going to set your timer for roughly 10 minutes. If you feel like you would like it a little fluffier, then you can do an extra two to three minutes, but I just think 10 minutes is good for crescent rolls. It keeps it light and fluffy and doesn't dry it out. And there you have it. You can see where some of mine had spread out a little bit, but don't worry, it still don't taste good, but the one there on the end, you got sealed really well and it stayed inside. 
And what I like to do when I eat these crescent rolls is I like to serve it with marinara sauce that has been heated. Um, if you would like a recipe of my homemade marinara sauce, leave a comment below and I will definitely put one, um, uh, I will put a video up so you can see my uh, homemade marinara sauce. Very simple to make, there's only a few ingredients. Um, but yeah, here you have it. And uh, if you don't have marinara sauce, you can always get pizza sauce or tomato sauce and just add some seasonings to it. But there you go. We've got our butter garlic knots. Great for dipping, very juicy and cheesy and just something simple that if you wanted to have a spaghetti dinner, you could do this as well um, as an appetizer before your meal. Or you could just simply eat them like I did for lunch and call it a day. I think it is a perfect addition to a spaghetti dinner or just eating it as regular for lunch. Okay kittens, I hope you enjoyed this video of buttery garlic knots. Let me know in the comments below if you too have made them and what you thought. Bye for now.